today from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is Matt NFL 21. Two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Here's Nicole Hardman. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Chiefs offense coming out here and bringing them onto the field. The most valuable player of last year's Super Bowl, and that's Patrick Mahomes. They often say you can't force situations. You just have to let them happen organically. And that's exactly what happened in Kansas City as Patrick Mahomes took over as the quarterback and has become the face of the franchise in the NFL as we now move into the 101st season. Fourth year in the league, already has an MVP, a Super Bowl title, and a Super Bowl MVP on his resume. Three huge games in the postseason last year, 10 touchdowns, just two interceptions, and two more on the ground. He just keeps getting better and better, and every time you watch him play, you want to see more. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Edwards Eber. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. A first carry now. This is Williams. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Clyde edwards Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 40 now on second down, Mahomes will find Clyde edwards alaire And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. to throw, it's Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Mahomes. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. And Robinson with a big catch. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 46 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. 
And his kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. We see Matthew Stafford, the one-time Georgia Bulldog, set to pilot the offense of the Detroit Lions. When I think of Matthew Stafford in Detroit, I think of numbers, and I mean passing numbers. 40,000 yards passed in his career last year before a back injury landed him on the IR after just eight games. And to show his value to the team, the Lions lost all eight games started by either Jeff Driscoll or David Blau. They need a healthy Matthew Stafford in order to compete in the NFC North. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 right at the 30. And out across midfield down to the 45. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. It's a game well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school. And one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Again, had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. First down. It's funny, partner. You often hear how tough it is for a rookie receiver to adjust to the NFL. I think the same is true for tight ends. You're asking them to do a lot in the NFL game with the additional blocking that many of them didn't have to do in college. And TJ Hawkinson, he was the number eight overall pick in 2019 and had a good rookie season with 32 catches. I expect that number to go way up as he gets more comfortable with the NFL game. A nice catch right there for a first down. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Probably me to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. The tight end, the ball carrier, fumble on the play, recovered by the offense. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Second and short now following the fumble. They'll run with Swift. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. 
Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I get the thought process. Third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way. But that means you're counting on your offensive line to win a lot of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. So this... Today, from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California, this is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead is a rematch of last year's NFC Championship game between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Mitch Here's the Australian-born punter Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here we go with the Packer offense, guided by their decorated QB with a long list of Pro Bowls and other accolades next to his name, of course. Aaron Rodgers leading the way. A lot of people thought the Packers might struggle a bit in 2019, but that was not the case. 13 wins, a trip to the NFC Championship game, and they were led by their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, who led their team to a Super Bowl title after the 2010 season, and many thought that was the first of what would be many more. So precise with the football. 26 touchdown passes last year and just four interceptions. He knows how to get it downfield and still take care of it as well. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Ron Alexander. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 
from the 31. Rodgers, that'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now a first down carry by Jones. Tackle that time by Jarkowski Tart. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Jones again, the ball carrier. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A gain of six on the play. And this is third down. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. From midfield, here's Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 35. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Jones. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 30 on second down. Rodgers, and he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first down, Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. And how about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Rodgers now on first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll run it for the first time with
today. From Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is Madden NFL 21. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, on to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. Returning at Justice Hill. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. On the return. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. We've had dual-threat quarterbacks in the NFL in the past, and we've had some really good ones. But I don't know if we've had one quite like Lamar Jackson. Led the league in touchdown pass with 36 last season. Set the all-time record for rushing yards in a single season for a quarterback at over 1,200 yards. And he led his Baltimore Ravens to a 14-2 regular season mark. Best in the NFL. The sky is the limit for Lamar Jackson. They go play action here on first down. He's going to take off with it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. He's going to take off with it. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot Jackson. it at the 49. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. By Levante Davis. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Blitz coming and down he goes. Devin White coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Jackson from the shotgun. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Buccaneers, led by their new quarterback for 2020. Of course, you know the story by now. His 21st season, first in Tampa, it's Tom Brady. If you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and you have a chance to get Tom Brady, you take that opportunity, even though Jameis Winston is your quarterback last year, 
threw for over 5,100 yards, but he also threw 30 interceptions. Tom Brady threw just an eight in New England last season. They figured that can be the difference to get that team into the playoffs and maybe back to the Super Bowl. Now the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, it's Jones. Today, from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, this is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Straight ahead is a rematch from last year's NFC Wild Card round between the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints. Dan, Dan Bailey now to put the ball in the air, and we are underway from the Superdome. On the return, Deontay Harris. And they're going to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Saints offense now getting set here and leading them out in what could be his final NFL season. The game's all-time leading passer. That's Drew Brees. Now exactly the start to the 2019 season that Drew Brees anticipated when he injured his thumb against the Rams in Week 2 and forced him to miss five weeks. The Saints did go 5-0 during his absence, and when he came back, they didn't miss a beat. Rallied him to another division team title and gallop into the playoffs and late in the season past Peyton Manning for the most career touchdown passes. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Pro Bowler Mike 
Michael Thomas was the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. From the gun, it's Breeze. The open man is Smith. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 and the 44. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. The 44 yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Alvin Kamara. Eric that play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On second and seven. Breeze, it's caught, Smith. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 36. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First and 10. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Shotgun now for Breeze. And well, that's complete to Sanders. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there and a first down. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded, as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there should be a pillow back there for him, all right? If, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. Second and 11. Here's Breeze to throw. To the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. But now it'll be third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Now this now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Breeze now to throw. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. And incomplete. Results in a fourth down. On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And Lutz puts this one through. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. 
Vikings nothing. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Vikings ready to go to work, led out by their quarterback in his third year wearing purple, ninth year overall in the NFL, a pro bowler in Kirk Cousins. The debate about Kirk Cousins continues to rage both among Vikings fans and fans around the league. But when you look at his numbers, you think this is one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Last year broke a string of four straight 4,000-yard passing years with the emergence of Dalvin Cook in the backfield. So while those numbers drop, he was still solid. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Touchdown. Down Vikings. Dalvin Cook, 75 yards. And the Vikings have taken the lead.